All right, guys, leave a comment down below on how long you think it took for this truck to get up to the top of the hill. You'll see it later on throughout the video, so you definitely want to stick around. Also got about 40, 50 pictures in this in this video showing some real detailed work on what it takes to put a project like this together. So if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area, hit us up. All our information is down below. Last week, I put out a video, said I needed 200 more subscribers to get to 18,000. As of this video, we're at 18,350. So definitely appreciate you guys. New subscribers, all my day ones, appreciate it. Check out the video. I'm going to jump in and out of the narrative, kind of explaining what's going on throughout the video. But pretty much it's just some nice detailed pictures. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so real quick, I want to let you guys know the last video we post uh, primarily goes what it takes to fabricate these rebar cages, install them, and pour them. So you guys want to check that out. I'll leave a link either above or somewhere down below. So check that one out. I'm not going to go too much in detail on what it took here outside of we had to be very careful because it was pretty close to the house. But we're all access you see we, we saw we made it happen so again any questions any comments leave those down below remember it's cool to ask for help hang around people that's positive and if you wake up with good intentions everything's gonna be all right I got Chiki's working over there, getting that uh, that other side panel done over there on the back, and and what's it called? Uh, and pretty much, pretty much, we're gonna keep moving. I mean, I, I had I had already invested a bit a little bit of time doing all this, but then uh, the guy had to come through and and and, and we had to I had to switch up. See. All right, guys, I love this ruler here. I think it reads six or seven different uh, scale sizes. So depending on your blueprints, what scale they are, all you got to do is flip this ruler around here. You definitely want to be checking your plans as you go to make any adjustments that may be needed. And on this project, a lot of adjustments was needed that wasn't on the blueprints. That being said, we made it happen with all access. And, you know, this is what we come to do. This is what we do. So any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Right now we're going in the framing stages here. Again, we got about 30, 40 pictures kind of showing some real detail of the work that's going on um, for this project. Some good drone shots too. So stick around, check out the entire video. And yeah, let's get back into it.
Alright guys, so we had about four or five tons of rebar back here, primarily number four and number five for the cages and for the gray beam back here. We also had our rebar guns. I think I had all four of them in action here. So that definitely saved us a lot of time. I know some guys that say they can tie better and tie faster than the rebar gun. I doubt it. We'll leave it for debate. So check out these pictures um, showing the detailed work of this rebar here. Now, we do have some other videos for this project. I'll leave those links down below. We're in the front. I think we use four tons alone of rebar. So check it out. Any questions, any comments, let me know. And yeah, I want to hit 20,000 subscribers by mid-May. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely appreciate it if you do. All right, can you guys imagine coming up backwards with these concrete trucks on our first pour up here? They did come up backwards, but shout out to Star Concrete. They've been on point throughout this whole entire process. Never had any wait time or any downtime. All the drivers were super helpful. Also, shout out to my guy, Millennium Concrete Pumping. Uh, he's out here in the Bay Area as well. But pretty much we poured about 50 yards of concrete. We did pour everything monolithic. That means the piers and the gray beam all together. If you can pour, pour monolithic. Ideally, you will pour the piers first, come back, build the uh, frame or build the uh, gray beam, and then pour that separate. But we poured everything monolithic. That's going to make this foundation that much stronger. You want to stick around to the end. I probably got about another 15, 20 pictures showing before and after and during the process of building this. Also, it's got some pictures showing where it's at as of today, this project. We did this last summer. So definitely appreciate you guys. Remember, it's cool to ask for help. Don't let your pride and ego get in the way of help. San Francisco Bay Area, hit us up. Like, comment, share, all that YouTube stuff. All right, appreciate you guys. Thank you.